हेलो एवरीवन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डाइव इनटू द इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ एयरप्लेन एक्सटर्नल लाइटिंग यू माइट हैव सीन द फैंसी एयरप्लेन लाइट्स फ्लैशिंग और स्टेडी लाइट्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ दोज लाइट्स एंड व्हाई इज इट सो क्रूशियल एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दोज लाइट्स एज अ एस्पायरिंग पायलट द एयरप्लेन हैज मेनी लाइट्स we are going to see the mandatory lights the larger airplane has got the anti collision lights that is also known as beacon anti collision lights are supposed to be there on upper and lower side of the fuselage and those anti collision lights are supposed to be there on all airplanes having all up weight more than 5700 kg these anti collision lights are red in color and that helps to locate the airplane and as the name suggests to prevent the collision these anti collision lights are flashing red lights and they are supposed to be put on before engine starts and it should be turned off after engine is shut down so these anti collision lights are also known as beacon on smaller airplane the beacon is located at the tail of the airplane and its function is the same as that of the anti collision light when these anti collision lights or beacon is on that time people on ground or ground personnel should be aware that engine is running and they should stay away from the danger area in front and at the back of the engine because if there is any personnel in the danger area of the engine that personnel might get sucked in and it is a fatal and dangerous situation and of course pilots have to ensure that they get the clearance from the ground to start the engine before you actually start the engine so after you get the air traffic control clearance it is important that you seek the permission from the ground or if in case of a smaller airplane look at the engine and check the visual area around the engine for any personnel around and then only you need to start the engine so that is very very important and crucial with respect to flight safety that is about the anti collision lights and beacon now we will see what are the navigation lights navigation lights as the name suggests are used to check the navigation of the other airplane that means where that airplane is going these navigation lights are in three color okay on left side of the airplane that is on port board side of the airplane there is a red navigation light on starboard side of the airplane there is green navigation light and at the tail of the airplane there is white navigation light the coverage of the red navigation light is from the longitudinal axis or from front all the way to 110 degree the coverage of the green navigation light is on right side 110 degree from front to back and remaining 140 degree so total 360 degree 360 minus 220 that's remaining is 140 degree coverage is of the white light which is at the tail of the airplane and that is uh, the one which will emit light in 140 degree coverage at the back of the airplane if there are two airplanes and if you are here if you see the red navigation light that means this airplane has to go ahead first and that has the right of way and you have to alter your course if in case you see a green navigation light that means you have right of way and you can continue your heading speed and your track and this airplane since this does not have right of way will alter its course and will give you way while going forward all right so that is the right of way if in case you see a white navigation light that means there is another airplane which is going ahead of you in the forward direction if you see both the navigation lights that is green and red that means the another aircraft is approaching head on in that case both the airplanes should alter course to right and then they should go ahead so that is the right of way then there are strobe lights strobe lights are flashing dazzling illuminating white lights and these strobe lights will attract the attention 
of another observer when this airplane is in flight. So whenever the airplane is airborne, when it is in flight, from the time of takeoff till the time it lands, these strobe lights should be on. The luminance of these strobe lights is so high that it can damage the eyes. So that is the reason after landing, these lights should be put on off by pilots when the airplane is on ground on taxiways on apron these strobe lights should not be put on and when you enter runway only at that time these lights should be put on in case of low visibility conditions the reflection from clouds and from fog can damage the eyes or it can obstruct or obscure the visibility forward to prevent this from happening these strobe lights can be put off or the intensity can be reduced if that is affecting the forward vision in low visibility conditions the navigation lights are supposed to be put on from sunset to sunrise if in case at any other time like in case of low visibility conditions it can be put on or it should be put on during the daytime as well but from sunset to sunrise it needs to be on apart from that there are other lights like taxi lights taxi lights are the one which will help the pilots to taxi the airplane they are on the nose of the airplane these taxi lights will help during the taxi apart from that there are runway turn off lights which are there on the larger airplanes those runway turn off lights will help during vacation of the runway or when the airplane wants to turn on ground or on apron or on taxiway apart from that there would be landing lights these landing lights are very bright and it will help the pilot in landing and to locate the runway in dark it will be used during the takeoff as well apart from that there would be logo lights to illuminate the logo of that particular airplane for these larger airplane there could be wing light as well this wing light is used to identify if there is any ice accumulated on the wing this is used before departure to ensure that there is no ice formation or there is no contamination on wing and that is the reason this needs to be put on before a pilot goes for the external walk around the runway turn off lights are the one which will be indicating and illuminating the sides while turning so the taxi lights will only illuminate the path forward whereas runway turn off lights will illuminate the path on sides of the airplane that is the airplane lighting for you i hope you have followed this airplane external lighting and it was interesting in case if you have any other queries or if you want to know about any other lights then comment down below we would like to answer thank you very much have a great day ahead bye bye see you in the next one